<clears throat> all right, good afternoon, everybody. Are we all set in the back? TVs? Josh, you good? Okay, we'll get started now. Uh, reminder, we are on live TV. Uh, it's rare that you have an opportunity to celebrate uh, such an iconic figure while they're playing, and, and today I, I, it will not be a stretch to call our special guest an iconic figure. It's a big announcement. It's rare that someone has an impact on a city like this young man has done in the last 12, 13 years he's been in Houston. About without further ado, um, before we get started, we have a very special video message uh, from Jim Crane. Uh, Jim could not be here today. Uh, he's at the owners' meetings in Orlando. So, Chad, can you go ahead and play that? Congratulations, Altuve. I'm happy for you and your family that you'll spend your rest of the career with the Astros. You're the heart of the team. You're the soul of the team. The fans love you, the team loves you, and we are really looking forward to you ending your career in Houston, Texas. And congratulations. Okay, some acknowledgments here. Uh, Jose's lovely wife, who we've known for many years, Nina's here. Thanks for being here, Nina. Uh, we have several of Jose's teammates in the back uh, showing their support uh, for, their, uh, for their compadres. So uh, thanks for being here, guys. And I'm going to start right now by introducing our general manager, Dana Brown. Go ahead, Dana. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today is an exciting day for the organization. Uh, through total collaboration with the Boris Corporation, Jose Altuve, his family, his wife Nina, his two daughters, uh, through uh, our front office with uh, Jim Crane, Jeff Bagwell, um, Joe Espada, and uh, baseball operations. We all work together to solidify Jose's future in this organization. And I would like to say, make no mistake, Jose Altuve is a special human being. Jose Altuve is the heartbeat of this organization. He's a franchise player. He's on pace to uh, be in the Hall of Fame. He's a fan favorite. And without a doubt, he's the spark to our clubhouse, to our uh, dugout, and he's an Astro for life. With that said, I want to announce a five-year extension to his contract on top of 2024. And this commitment to him and his family will make them Astros for life. We are honored to have this man as uh, one of our better players that we've ever seen in Houston. And congratulations to Jose Altuve for spending his entire career in Houston. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you sure? Yeah. If we got guys stand up, we'll take a photo. Sure. Okay, Joe, I'm going to turn it over to you if you want to make a couple comments about Jose. Uh, yeah, um, Dana took all kind of all my lines there. But, uh, you know, this is a very special day for, for the Astros organization. I, you know, we can all reflect on Jose's performance on the field, but for me, Jose means more than, than what you guys get to witness every day on the baseball field. You know, this is an incredible human. Uh, his humility and what he does for the Astros community, I think it's uh, – is very important, and I wanted to recognize that. And for me to be his manager for for the next five, six years, um, it's is very special. So, Jose, thank you for your leadership and what do you mean to this organ for for this team. And I can I can wait to write your name your line up here for the next five, six years. Thank okay, thanks, Joe. As you can see, uh, Jose's agent is here, Scott Boris. Scott, I, I think what most don't understand is who the human being is, and you get to deal with Jose day in, day out, his sensitivity, who he is as a husband, a father, what he is as a teammate. But if there's ever a major league story that you could go back about a man who shows up at a workout <laughs> and is rejected and to sit here today, it, it's something that uh, says so much about who he is as a person, his drive, will, commitment to all he does and uh, it looks easy 
It looks easy when you watch Jose Altuve play. It does. But underneath it all, his fight with the game, his will to command it at every level and to win. And when you're in the championship series seven years in a row, no one does that modernly. No one. And I think the reason that he's a champion multiple times is the fact that that core shows up every day because he never forgot what it took to get a uniform. And when he was first rejected, he went back the next day. That's Jose Altuve. Thank you, Amen. Okay, Jose, would you like to make a couple comments? Yeah, I want to uh, tell everyone how happy I am. This means a lot, not only to me, but to my family. And I want to thank my wife, Nina, that is here. My family that's back home in Venezuela. Couldn't make it. My agent, Scott, my teammates. Uh, Donna, Joe, Miss Crane, everybody that makes uh, this dream possible. I uh, want to thank to Jeff Bowell, that's now here, and Craig Bio for all the bases, years and years, that helped me to become a, a better player. My teammates again, you know, I play this game for you. To the Houston fans that they're day in and day out supporting us as a team, as an organization, we play this game and try to win for you guys too. And I want to thank God for this opportunity, and I feel really, really happy. Thank you, Jose. Folks, before we open it up to questions, uh, I'm going to bring up our Senior VP of Communications and Marketing, Anita Sagal. She has a very important announcement from the Mayor's Office. Anita? Thanks, everyone. Uh, I know I speak on behalf of the entire organization, the city of Houston, uh, and really the entire community of Astros fans uh, of how special this day is. Um, coincidentally, today is February 7th, which is officially 2-7 day. And uh, we are very excited to actually, uh, on behalf of the mayor, uh, declare a special proclamation, which I'm going to read to you. Jose Altuve Day, Houston Astros All-Star Second Baseman. Whereas Jose Altuve, as the Houston Astros All-Star Second Baseman, has made significant contributions to the city of Houston in his first 13 seasons in Major League Baseball. And we commend his legacy, his commitment to family and community, and celebrate his love for the city of Houston and all Houston Astros fans. And whereas he has represented the Astros, the city of Houston, and the game of baseball in the highest of character on and off the field during the most successful era in Astros history. He is an eight-time All-Star, a six-time Silver Slugger, a Gold Glove recipient, an American League MVP. He is the first Astro to win a batting title, and he has won three of them. And whereas Jose Altuve is the most beloved Houston Astro, leading his teammates to two world championships and providing fans across the globe with lifetime memories through his generosity, his character, and his commitment to giving back. And whereas the city of Houston is grateful for the immeasurable contributions made by such an extraordinary athlete and humanitarian, and congratulates Jose for his career commitment to remaining a Houston Astro. Therefore, I, John Whitmire, mayor of the city of Houston, hereby proclaim February 7th, 2024, as Jose Altuve Day in Houston, Texas. Um, it is Jose Altuve Day today. Uh, we will celebrate it all day long. We will celebrate it for our fans. Uh, our retail store will stay open until 727 today. People will have a chance all day long to win uh, all kinds of uh, Jose Altuve gear. Um, but we just want to say on behalf of the city and all of our fans, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Anita. On behalf of the Houston Astros, thank you to Mayor Whitmire for this fine gesture. Um, before we open up to questions, um, we would like to say um, we'll start like last time. We'll start with the English questions first, and then we'll transition over to Spanish. So please raise your hand. We have two mics around uh, that can get the questions for you. Start with Brian and then Matt and Chandler. 
Congratulations, Jose. Thank you. Um, you've, you've said previously you wanted to finish your career in Houston, but now that that's going to be a reality, um, you know, what does that mean to you? And um, just to the fact that you're, you, you're going to play 19, maybe 20 years in one uniform. Uh, he means a lot, like I said, now that, you know, we know we would be here. I think I have the same commitment to go out there and play hard every day to help my team to win and to accomplish our goal. Uh, it's going to be uh, a good five years from now uh, playing uh, at front of our Houston fans, my family here in Houston, and all my teammates that I, I hope they, they all stay here. And uh, just, like I said, really happy and just focus on, on winning now. Okay, Matt. I was a, uh, how important was it or was it important for you to uh, to get this done before camp uh, just so you could go in with kind of the, the knowledge that uh, you would be here for a while? Yeah, we. Uh, I wasn't thinking about timing. I was just, you know, trying to get uh, a deal that I could, you know, say it's going to be enough to for, for my career. I think this will put me in 18, 19 years in the big list if everything goes right. And... Just like I said now, that everything is behind. Just focus on, on winning, helping my my teammates to win too, and just play hard. Like I said, 100% focus on, on winning. Okay, Chandler, then Kim. Jose, you've made your intentions known for a while now that you wanted to retire here, but I guess specifically when did, when did you maybe approach Scott or Jim about getting this done now? And, and Scott, if maybe you could weigh in too about the timing and kind of how this came together. I think uh, that... The three of us, uh, the the team, uh, my agency and I were, you know, in the same page, and you know we got this this deal done, which is important for me and for my family. I'm really happy, and like I said, I can move forward and and, and go win another championship. Um, congratulations, Jose. Um, also to you, Dana. <clears throat> You've been uh, obviously very busy this off season. How important was it for you to make sure that Jose? finish his career with the Astros and is there a lot more for you to do before uh, you get to spring training next week? Yeah, we're always at work, as I've always said. You know, we're always trying to improve the team. Uh, nothing in particular right now, but we're always in the business of improving the team. But at the end of the day, getting Jose Altuve done, knowing what he means to this organization, knowing what he means to this fan base, knowing what he means to us and the team uh, was very important. And as I mentioned before, we always look for that special thing in human beings, and he has the it factor, and we're excited about it. Okay, we'll go Adam Winkler, Jesus, and then Will. Adam, Jesus, then Will. Jose, your, your first couple of years, you guys lost 100 plus games, and now it's Jose Altuve Day on your, your second extension. Wondering if you can go back, what were, your, what were you thinking back then when you first broke in when Times weren't great. What was the vision? What were the emotions? And uh, do you think about that at all now after celebrations like this? No, I forgot about all those 100 seasons. Like, no, I'm, I'm kidding. You know, I think that that makes me, you know, a better, better player, uh, conference. And, you know, obviously nobody likes to lose. So I think as, a, as an organization, we learn a lot from those games. And we did the transition. Now we are a winning team. And like I said, I don't regret that I spent the time that I remember. I just wanted to do everything uh, possible, go play hard, get my hits, scores and runs, just to stay on the team for the, for the next year. Obviously, the team changed a lot those years. Seems like you have, you know, different 25-man uh, roster every year. So I want to be one of those guys that stay for the team uh, whenever they become a winning team like we did. Okay, Jesus and then Will. Jose, what did it mean to you when you hear the proclamation from the mayor? And this is a second part, two-part question. When you think of Craig Biggio and Jeff Bagwell, one, both from the East Coast, and decided that this was going to be their home and made this this home, and they're still here long after they retired, what does Houston mean to you? Yeah, no, uh, obviously it's an honor to me to have a, a Jose Altuve day. I uh, feel happy and proud and blessed. And on the other side, uh, you know, Houston is, is my home. Uh, I have, obviously, two homes. I grew up in, in Venezuela, my country. Every time I go there, I, I tell my wife, let's go home. And then when it's time to come back, I tell her, let's come back home. So it's, it's, it's good to have two places where you think 
uh, you can live where you think is your your home. So we 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 live in the the best life in in the Venezuela and in Houston. Okay, you well. touched on it a little bit here, but to have a guy like this that's been around in your first year as a manager for the culture of that clubhouse, you know how important is that for you? Extremely important. You know, Jose. Um, <clears throat> just not an, you know, not only an elite player, but how much better he makes the players around him. Um, Jose does things that not a lot of people get to see, and I get to witness his ability to connect with his teammates, to lead a clubhouse, um, to when it's moment when we need to somebody to step up and speak up, and he speaks and how he commands the room. Um, I've I've been blessed to have um, from uh, from road seats to. To Jose's accomplish a lot of accomplishments. Uh, you know, you guys were talking about you know those those losing years of Houston, and um, I was on the other side looking in at this team when they were starting to turn things around, and you knew at some point um, they were going to do it, and how that to do with Jose's performance and how he kind of brought people together, and you know, staring staring from the outside looking in, you knew at some point Houston was going to be a very special place. So I'm glad that. Um, um, I got to join this organization and being able to experience winning um, the way we've done it here. But we couldn't have done that without without Jose Altuve. Okay, Brian McTaggart, Adam Spillane, and then Nate. Scott, what are the challenges of a deal like this when you have a, a star player who's so accomplished that, that wants to be with one team um, and one team only, and you have to – and if you put many deals like that together where a guy says, this is where I want to be for the rest of my career, when maybe he could have went out in the market and, and maybe got himself even more money. I think you always know that the, the most important thing for an attorney to do for his client is listen to him. And you want him to have what he wants most. Uh, economics certainly figure into that, but really for Jose, it was about keeping a, a, a lineage, uh, keeping a, a legacy that that was really, really important to, to him and Nina. and. You know, they have young children, and, and they're established. They have a, a life, and their home in Venezuela and a life here. He has teammates. Um, hopefully he has the guidance of Mr. Biggio to get him from uh, 24 to 3,000 and, and how to do that as a veteran player. So I think everything Jose wanted was here, and uh, the uh, you can counsel them on the economics and – Obviously, in a free market, it's never going to be what it is in a unilateral market. But I think for Jose, that was really not the, the point about what he was doing. Okay, Adam, then Nate. Along those lines, Jose, did it ever cross your mind that you could play for another team? You know, I think when a lot of people start talking about this is your last year, you kind of think about it. But uh, then you, so, you know, my wife and I have a lot of conversations about if we're going to go somewhere else, if we're going to stay here. And I think, you know, the best case scenario was always here. You know, I get, I come back every day after the night game and I see my daughter sleeping. I can wake up the next day and take him to school. So that was kind of like the, the conversation where uh, everything started and we decided to stay here in Houston, that we will never move from here. So either if I go somewhere else to play, so... I think it was just better to play with with my teammates, with my fans. They they see me uh, grow as a player. When I when I got called up the first uh, time back in 2011, they told me it was you know just something temporary until they find another second baseman. And <laughs> so we you know this is my uh, third extension, 13 years in the big league, and hopefully you know. I get to play all these uh, 20 years that everybody wants to play in the big league. So it's just, you know, I'm, I'm really thankful, like I said, with, with the organization, with, with Scott, with my wife. At, at some point in my career, I thought, well, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't make it. You know, I couldn't do it anymore. And Scott helped me a lot. Like, like he said, listening to you, he's a great agent. Not only him, but the whole thing he has in Boris Corporation. So I think a lot, a lot of good things that are happening in my career. Yes, it's because of my family, but because of him too. So I wanna, 
want to thank him too. And I called him yesterday, but uh, he deserved me to do it today again. Okay, Nate. Jose, congratulations. I have a two-person question. First of all, you, you kind of just did it a moment ago, but if you can reflect on where you started to where you are now, uh, kind of talk about that. And then for you, Dana, being able to have Jose in the focus, the center focus of, of what you're doing now and trying to keep the nucleus of the team together. No, you over. <laughs> well, I mean, when you have a, I, I feel like Jose is the spark plug to this club, right? And he's the heart and soul of this club. And when you have someone like that, you want to keep him within that core of your players uh, because of his leadership ability, his talent, and his makeup, of course, is pretty special. So in my mind, uh, we definitely needed to get this deal done, and that's why we're so excited about it today. Okay, Mike. Uh, Dana, this one's for you. Uh, you've committed over $200 million now in Jose and Hader deals. Did that kind of financial flexibility this summer or this winter surprise you at all? And do you think you have flexibility for extensions again? No, I mean, I would say it costs to be good. Um, and so these, these players that we're bringing in, it's, it's pretty special. You know, Hader is pretty special. And, of course, extending Altuve and having him in this organization that's pretty special. And so when you want to keep the core group together uh, and you want to continue to win, you know, you have to make these type of decisions. And, you know, we have the fan base to support us. You know, we have an owner in Jim Crane who's very dedicated to winning. And so we're going to do whatever we can do uh, to keep this thing going. Okay, Chandler, then Sarge. Jose, what does it mean to you have all your teammates, or most of them, sitting back here that took time on their day off to come in and, and watch you do this? No, it means a lot. Obviously, uh, I think you know we're we're a family. You know, I see Jordan there sitting next to uh, Kret. He's I can call him. You know, one of my good friends. And you know, I see Jeremy over there, and you know, I see Hensley. So you know, we we're a family. So it means a lot. You know, like I said a minute ago, I play the game for Dan. I play for the fans. So it means you know so much that they're here supporting me in a day like this. Hey, Sarge. Jose, what has been your, your inspiration from the day you started playing baseball to now? It, it means a lot to you, I know, as far as, you know, talking to you, your loyalty to this Houston Astros organization. But what has been your motivation and kind of like your why? Yeah, I love the game. You know, I love uh, playing baseball. Uh, baseball is uh, n number one sport back home in Venezuela. You... As a young kid, everything you see or you play on the streets is just baseball for, with whatever you have. So uh, obviously you come back home and you watch TV and you see all these big league players like uh, Miguel Cabrera, Maglio Ordonez, Bo Abreu. So you want to become one of those players. And I mentioned to them because they're from Venezuela. So we look out to them. And like I said, I want to be one of those uh, big league players on TV. Okay, Leah. Uh, Jose, um, was there a defining moment in your career when you realized that Houston was the place that you wanted to stay long term? Every year. Yeah, every year since I got here. Like I said, we we bought a four house or first house here in twenty thirteen and you know, we stay here uh through the off season a few years and we decide this is home, you know. We, we like the people, we like the, our teammates, we, you know, when we go out and the way that they, they treat us, it's just like we're from here, so we decide to, to make Houston our, our home. Okay, Cameron and Ari. <laughs> oh, I thought you had a question. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Ari. Jose, uh, Scott mentioned the story of when you were younger, you show up to the, the tryout, they rejected you, you came back the next day. So my question is, why did you come back? Uh, because my dad, he, uh, Fredo Pedrique, which, uh, he was the head uh, of the old camp in that moment, wasn't there the first day, so I got caught before he actually uh, watched me play. So he, he thought Alfredo could like the way I play, and, we came back the next day. They let me play the game, and uh, he, you know, Alfredo came to us and said, "You should stay for the whole camp." In the end of the camp, they gave me a contract uh, for fifteen thousand dollars. That you know, 
we were really happy to to become a, a professional baseball player. Hey, a couple more in English. Adam over here. Uh, Jose, <clears throat> you've obviously been signed now through 29. Josh Hader was signed for five years. You mentioned two guys that are here, Jordan and Jeremy, who you should be playing with for a number of years. And Dana talked about the commitment to winning that Jim Crane has. How confident are you through the life of this deal that this team will continue to win? Yeah, this is our philosophy, winning. Uh, and when you have uh, a guy like Jordan on, on your lineup, you're always going to have a chance to win. You know, I said it many times, he's a... He's the best hitter in baseball, and you know, whenever he comes to bat, hopefully I'm on base. So that's probably going to be a two or three run homer.